John, let me bring us back here, man. We're going to uh, get back into our crossover here in just a second. But I have to let you know that the crossover edition of Locked on Jaguars and Locked on Texans is presented by Prize Picks. Go to prizepicks.com slash locked on NFL and use the code all lowercase locked on NFL to win $50 instantly when you play just $5. It's a forty-five dollar come up. Mm-hmm. Who don't like that? I like. I it. love it. I like it, and I also like the Houston Texans chances Sunday. Mm-hmm. I'll be at the NRG Stadium. I think that uh, my presence there will be graceful, and it'll be a blessed afternoon. And I think Houston will get it going offensively. I, I, I watched the game, some of the game uh, against uh, the Bills for you guys. Yeah. And I came away from the game thinking to myself, well, the the Jags struggled with, I thought, mesh routes, co- crossing routes. Mm-hmm. And I thought that with Stephon Diggs and Tank Dale, those are two receivers that I think can thrive in that role as a receiver. I think Houston will get the ball rolling offensively by u- utilizing their playmaker wide receivers. And do I think they're going to put up, what was it, 47, 40? Yeah, 47. Go, go ahead. Yeah, it was 47. I, uh, they dropped a 47 burger. Go ahead. 15, a 40, a 45, a 47. <laughs> do, 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 do. But I do, think do, Houston, do, do, do. Yeah. I think Houston going to put up some points Sunday. I think this is one of those games that at the end of the year, they're going to look back and say, man, we needed this game to get our communication down with our offensive line so they can be able to learn, cut out these false starts, What's your, what's your assignment on, on a stunt? And give that time to CJ so he can sit back there in the pocket comfortably because he's been pressured a lot this year, which is not ideal, to give him time to deliver some of these beautiful balls that he normally does to Nico, to Stefan, to Tank, and they'll be able to get the ball rolling. I think Houston will put up about 28 points on you guys. All right, so they're not going to drop a 40-burger. So the thing is with this game is I'm going to pick Houston to win the game because I'm not an idiot, right? The Jaguars aren't playing well. They haven't really shown outside of the first three quarters against Miami in week one, they haven't really shown uh, what they say they want to be. So what I will tell you is this. This is exactly the kind of game where guys like that, and I know a lot of them in that locker room, and I know that coaching staff, this is exactly the kind of game where they just step up and go, not today. Mm. But I don't think it'll be good enough. And I don't believe in moral victories. However, I do believe the Jaguars probably played their best game of the season and then lose a very close game. Um, I, I think they're motivated. I think they realize that um, there's a lot that people are talking about, about maybe coaches. And I ain't going to talk about people, me that people need to be fired and there needs to be a change and all of that stuff. But the bottom line is, is the way they're yoked, the way they're built, if you can't run the ball and they don't have a threat of you running the ball, they can really mix and match things. Now they're a little bit banged up in the secondary and their uh, linebacker Foy. He's out. Yeah. Foy Ulubakan, he's out with plantar fasciitis. So that's a, a bit of a challenge. This is about situational football, though. Who can put who in certain situations and allow what you want to do to basically impose your will on this game? I think because of that, it's going to be very, very close. I think Trevor Lawrence, the, one of the best games I've ever seen was when people were doubting him and they were talking about C.J. Stroud. And they came to Houston last year and Trevor Lawrence played the game of his life. Yeah, he So did. I really do believe that opportunities like that do exist. I, I think it's a close game. I think Houston's probably going to win 28-24. However, um, I wouldn't be surprised if the Jaguars find a way to pull it out. I do want to say this. We can never overlook division games. No. Nope. That was the point of mine going into the Indianapolis Coast game. Like, you can never overlook a division game. You see those guys twice a year. And for a good amount of these those players, they see the same team in the three-year span six times. So they know a team. They know the DNA of a team. They know what can what can kind of make a team uh, play well and what to do to take away that team's uh, ability to play well. So I don't think there's going to be a blowout. I'm not looking for a blowout. One of our listeners said the Texas should curb stomp the Jags. I'm not looking for that. No. What I am looking for is an offensive performance where we can be comfortable with 
and proud of after the game. And I'm going to say this. <laughs> I, I, I do think after Sunday's game, there should be – the Texans should perform so well that, yeah, it should be a coaching change. If Doug Peterson keeps his job off beating the Houston Texans, we got a problem. Right. So I, I hate to say be fired and all of that because men have families to provide for. Right, right. So I don't want to necessarily say he should be fired. But, I mean, the Texans should win this game and he should not be there uh, after Tuesday. Next if they week. play well, uh, he won't get fired. In, in fact, you have to think, what if they fire him, what are they going to do? They're going to promote Ryan Nielsen, the defensive coordinator, the head coach, and make Mike McCoy the quarterback coach? Because if Doug gets fired, they're going to fire Press Taylor too. And the thing is, is Press Taylor's the offensive coordinator. So the thing is, is um, I do think that Shot has been slow to fire in the past. I, I, I do believe that there's a little bit of a sentiment that if things get worse, that that he will make a decision that Doug has to go. But that decision doesn't have to coincide with it actually happening right now. Sometimes the best thing to do is just let things continue to play out the way they are. But um I think the Jaguars really, really do make a good showing of themselves this week, and um, they have a, they'll have a chance to win it late. I, I, I did predict that they wouldn't be blown out in any game that they played this year, and that has already been debunked by Buffalo, who beat them by 37. So we'll see. We'll see. But I think the Jaguars show up, play better, but still fall short.